So in this video, we're going to talk about Slugify. Slugify is one of the NPM packages which is going to give us a safe slug. Uh, so basically, it receives a string and then it strips down whatever is not accepted in a URL and then uh, give us uh, a clean and tidy URL. Let's just see how it works. Basically, so we're going to use TypeScript here, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to transpile it or compile it and show you the vanilla JavaScript as well. So if the URL is something like this, this is a nice car. So here we have two space as you can see. And we are going to say in console.log and this is going to be slog. And we are going to say again slog equals URL. In this case, I mean, we are not doing anything so far. So I'm going just to say uh, run it src. Okay, good. So we have Slugify as well. I'm going to put it right and close this one. So on the left side, we have the TypeScript. On the right side, we have the JavaScript. So far, nothing has changed. But let's just add the Slugify. Slugify. Now that we add the Slugify, we can import Slugify. Good. And we're going to use it. So I'm going to just say slugify. Slugify. And okay, now we're going to run it. And basically we are importing it here in the vanilla JavaScript require and then doing the same things. And what we are getting back is really something different because now it just get rid of all the strings and replace them with um, dash and then everything is as same so we can add some also um, options here so I'm going to just add some options uh, the first one is replacement so we can say replacement is instead of uh, dash we can say underscore and let's just run it one more time now it is everything is underscore here or we can also say we want to make everything uh, lowercase so what is really happening is if I run it now now everything is lowercase look at the T at the beginning and also if uh, for example let's say we have caret or quotation and I don't know slash dash whatever you want to put whatever is not safe basically in the uh, URL is going to just strip it so you're gonna run it one more time and now as you can see the only acceptable character is this one and uh, you're gonna get rid of the rest and this is it basically if you're using for example a language which has accent it also going to get rid of it and basically this is a very simple package there is no dependency for this package and it's very straightforward all you need to do you need just to pass in the string and it's going to give you the result so we could also use everything in one go instead of like just putting in a slug variable and then do the rest so nothing very fancy however it's very powerful and it's very safe if you're going to produce a slug from a string and use it in your web application or even a node.js application so this is it for now thank you so much for watching this video and please if you like the video don't forget to share it or subscribe or like the video whatever you think is right